For each pair of tables shown, determine which lemonade should have a stronger lemon flavor. In these tables, we can see that they have the same amount of water in the first one. So if we're looking for the stronger lemon flavor, we're going to want the one that has more lemons in it. When they have the same amount of lemons, which one would have a stronger lemon flavor? One that has less water or one that has more water? Go through and write your answer either A or B for each of the three sets of tables. Here we see two sets of theater tickets. It says Dylan purchases three theater tickets for a total of $30. A week later, Sana purchases six theater tickets for the same performance for a total of $50. Well, in this one, for three tickets to cost $30, that'd be $10 apiece. But if she purchased six, that should be $60, and she only paid $50. Does this represent a, or a ratio relationship? No, because it's not using the same cost per ticket. Here, Sana actually gets a better deal because she gets more tickets for $50 than Dylan would if he bought six tickets. Two restaurants use different flour mixtures in their pancake batter recipe. The ratio tables show the relationship between the number of cups of flour and the number of tablespoons of salt in the mixtures. Which restaurant's flour mixture is saltier? Now we're looking for pieces that are the same to compare them. So I might look for a 27 in the other table, but I don't see any 27s. Or maybe a 30, but I don't see 30s either. 33? No 30s. 33. How about 18 in the salt row? Is there an 18 in this salt row? No. 20? Nope. 22? No, but you might say, well, there's a 22 here and a 22 here, but we can't really compare those because this one is salt and in this one it's flour. We want them to be the same ingredient with the same number. So I'm going to simplify these ratios. I know that 27 and 18 both have factors of 9. 9 fits into 27 three times, and 9 fits into 18 twice. Here, 22 and 11 both have 11 as a factor. 11 fits into 22 two times, because 2 times 11 is 22, and 11 fits into 11 once. So now I can build up these ratios. I have 3 and 2. I know that 3 and 2 have a common multiple of 6. 3 times 2 is 6, so 2 times 2 would tell us what goes in the salt row. Here I have 2 times 3 is 6, so I need 1 times 3 to tell me what goes in the salt section. Now that they both have the same amount of flour, I can tell which one is saltier based on the number of tablespoons of salt. So when they both have six cups of flour, restaurant A has an extra tablespoon of salt, which would make it saltier. We're gonna write that statement in the question where it asks us to explain. A is saltier. Because when they both have six cups of flour,
A has an extra tablespoon, I'm going to abbreviate that, of salt. Tablespoon, TBSP stands for tablespoon. This one is about beekeepers. It says beekeepers add sugar water to the diet of honeybees. In the spring, the sugar water mixture helps promote colony growth. In the fall, the sugar water helps the bees survive. The ratio tables show the number of cups of water and the number of cups of sugar in the spring water mixture and in the fall water mixture. Based on the tables, which sugar water mixture is sweeter? I notice that 15 and 10 both have factors of 5. 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 times 2 is 10. I don't have to simplify. I can use this ratio and try and make it match one of these tables, or one of these rows in the table. I notice that I can turn a 2 into a 16. So that's what I'm going to do. 2 times 8 is 16. So to keep the ratio equal, I need to multiply the sugar by 8 as well. 3 times 8 is 24. So now looking at these two rows, if they have the same amount of water, the fall mixture has extra sugar in it, which would make it sweeter. A flooring company offers two different designs that each use white square tiles and blue square tiles. All of the tiles are the same size. The ratio tables show the number of white tiles and the number of blue tiles needed for each design. All right, I notice that 20 and 30 both have a factor of 10. That would give me 2 and 3 because 2 times 10 is 20 and 3 times 10 is 30. Well, 2 is not a factor of 15 or 45 and 3 is not a factor of 35. It is a factor of 105, but that's a, a large number. So we might try and find a different thing that they have in common. This has a factor of 5, and so does this one. 5 goes into 15 three times, and 5 times 7 is 35. Well, I know that I can make 3 and 2 both turn into 6. 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6, and 7 times 2 is 14. When they both have the same amount of white tiles, which one will appear bluer? Floor design B.
The same flooring company offers two different designs that each use gold square tiles and black square tiles. All of the tiles are the same size. The ratio tables show the number of gold tiles and the number of black tiles needed for each design. Okay. I see that 16 and 48 both have a factor of 4 because 4 times 4 is 16 and 4 times 12 is 48. Oh, and 60 plus 12 is 72 and 20 plus 4 can go in this one. So now I have 24 and 72 and 18 and 72. Based on the tables, which design should appear more gold? Well, when they have the same amount of black, design Z has a greater amount of gold in it. When there are 72 black tiles, design Z, I'm going to put the line through it so it doesn't look like a 2, design Z has well, 18 plus 6 is 24, so it has 6 extra gold tiles. There are many other ways that you could create numbers that have the same amounts for both rows in, table, or in the first table and the second table. You do not have to use 72 in here. There are several other methods that you could use to determine which has more of a gold look to it. Same thing for the other problems that we did today. Please make sure your warm-up is complete and your workbook is filled in, and then you are finished.